Because at the end of the day, why are we doing this? It's because we want to improve the lives of patients. In my early life, I sort of designed vaccines, the subunit vaccines, but also with a focus on our public health and then moved on to drug development from cannabinoids. Our mission is really to improve the lives of the patients we serve. Some patients would not even consider where otherwise they would benefit from uh, a cannabis or cannabinoid-based medicine. Zalera boasts over 41 granted or allowed patents in 26 countries across nine therapeutic areas from cancer treatment to sleep, to uh, insomnia, to chronic pain, to opioid sparing. Life is holistic if we can both target individual indications but also improve quality by targeting systems in the body. I think we're doing well. Again, you know, the goal is, uh, is, is impacting or improving the lives of the patients. We have a unique opportunity to do that. We take that very seriously. But also, we're not just a product development company. We're a technology platform development company. we found a way now where you can create actual capsules, free flow pharmaceutical grade capsules. Let me say that again. Free flow powder from cannabinoids. People that understand the consistency of cannabinoids understand that it looks like honey. Now, how do you turn that to a traditional pharmaceutical grade free flow powder? And with that, you can create real capsules, capsules that look like this. Literally, they look like this. Real capsules from cannabinoids. Cannabinoid medicines will be taken seriously as a pharmaceutical product when we can develop drugs in dosage forms that are understood, that can be validated. So until we can create solid oral drugs, such as capsules and tablets, then we stand a chance of being taken seriously. I look forward to the day where a cannabinoid, cannabinoid-based medicines um, are our frontline therapies not suggestive alternate options, but properly validated frontline therapies for the treatment of, of debilitating conditions and symptoms. You know, I, could, I, I get emotional when I share some of this. Simple answer to keep me from crying on camera is, these are real patients. These are real people. Quality of life is being impacted and it's such a privilege and an honor to be a small part of all of that. It humbles me every time, I'm, I'm, I'm truly humbled.